Okay. I'm going to show y'all this. And this is why I do not like California, Los Angeles, Southern Cal area. I'm here at the shipper, and I guess I'm supposed to pick this up actually tomorrow. But there's no parking on the streets. I went to have the trailer washed out. I found this hole in the wall truck wash out. Thank God, because I was hungry. And they also had Roach Coach tacos on the street. A lot of little Spanish things here, and that's, that's the only thing I do like about it. But let me show you. This is the yard. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? I'm sitting in my truck right now. I, I have no idea how I'm going to turn this damn thing around. I don't even know how I'm going to back it. And there's trucks even back there. So, and this is that truck in front of me. So, there's no room to really move. I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm going to get ready to go check in. And, uh, so my video is going to start again because this stopped because I had to. It's doing a whole bunch of stuff. They had no capability for you to park there on the facility. I checked in. Um, I did my arrive call. So, what I ended up having to do, I actually had to come over here to Ontario and park over here at TA. So I'm parked over here. We have a terminal here too. I didn't want to go to the terminal. The terminal is another total headache. And here at TA, at least I have some food. Uh, like I said, I got to throw a bunch of stuff. I threw some stuff out. I got to go through the cooler. I'm going to do that before I go to bed and throw out what I don't need. I think I'm going to buy a couple extra subways, throw them in there. Because tomorrow is going to be a lot of driving. Because I got to go from here to Stockton. And then um, in that area. And then I have on Sunday another load, which I've done, and I know that facility. So I got a load from there, and then I'm going back up to Washington State. So I might see Bill. I'm not sure. Um, they might steal the load again. I'm really not sure because I'm going to be rolling hours. Um, but I don't really care. It's just like I just kind of got to the point I don't care. I'm going to do what I can do, and you don't like what I do? Because I have a feeling a lot of drivers are rolling out. I really do. Um, one, a lot of them aren't happy with the merger because they're going to be required to do things under the new company that they were not doing under this company. Where they were lax, that lax is going to be gone. And um, you're going to have to kind of, I think on some level, step your game up a little bit. Um, especially on pre-tripping. And a lot of people won't pre-trip. Um, that's about it. And right now, I'm butt-ass tired. So, Freddie Jordan. So, I mentioned him in the prior video on Slick Willie. And... Um, it's kind of a part two to it, but and I, I named it Slick Willie is uploading right now. Freddie Jordan was a driver for KLLM and he had worked at several different companies. He has a business degree background, from my understanding. Um, he is a veteran, I think, of the U.S. Navy. I thoroughly enjoyed watching him. He's very, um, he was entertaining in the beginning. He listened to some music and then he would get into his discussion. He talked about news, which is one thing that I'd incorporated. Oh, and I got, I've been looking for it and they haven't had that newspaper. I forgot what it's called, but they do have it. I haven't had a chance to look through and see what articles. I did see a few things that looked interesting, but I haven't seen what I'm going to talk about. So there's news because I do want to incorporate news. I still want to stay abreast of what's going on in the industry. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I've been to a couple of TAs and Petros, and they did not have. There's a, a newspaper-like article they have. For, I think it's called The Trucker, and they did not have it. And I just went to a TA um, in, I forgot what state I was in. A TA, I think it was a... Nebraska that actually did have it so I picked it up and they had a new one so I need to read it and see what's going on uh, I think they talked about the ELD electronic log devices they talked a little bit about that but I'm not going to do that anyway on Freddie's channel which I'll see if I can find it and put the link below uh, check his videos out he's not driving anymore he had some health issues so he stopped driving which if you watch the videos you'll understand that but he talked about some of his experiences in orientation at different trucking companies he talked about how the trucking companies do things that aren't uh, employment legal okay and they've been getting away with a lot of it for years there's a lot that the trucking companies do and uh, I'm gonna tell you because my father was in in railroad one of the reasons why they get away with so much is because they move America and so you know if you piss them off too much they could mess with America's freight which will ultimately affect our economy which will affect people's lives and you know, so they pretty much get away with a lot of stuff they're not supposed to. Um, the company I'm currently at, a good example is, I don't, usually when you go into a job, they tell you exactly what your salary is going to be. They give you a piece of paper telling you what your position is, and they give you some details. This doesn't happen in trucking. I don't care what trucking, I haven't been to a trucking company that does this and say, okay, you're going to be paid 42 cents a mile. Your detention pay, if you're detained, is XYZ, um, 
uh, dollars per hour after so and so hours. Uh, if you're broke down, this is your breakdown pay um, for breakdown per day. These are the options that are available to you if you're broke down outside of a city in which you, you live. Um, and this is what's covered. This is how you do it. Uh, this is your layover pay amount. This is what you're going to get paid. So it's kind of slick willy. The same way that, oh, we're paying you per cents per mile, but we're averaging those miles based on uh, whatever vehicle, <laughs> motorcycle, car, could get there the fastest and so and the shortest distance. So even though you're a truck and you might not be able to take those same roadways, we're still going to use that as a way of paying you as an average per mile that we're paying you. Okay? So we're not really paying you truck route. So if a car's route is 550 miles and the truck route is 750 miles, you're only getting paid 550 or well on 200. So that's part of what they're in court about for the percent per mile. So nothing's are written out. And now I know that they've been sending me a message about something with the pay, which is on a computer-based system, but the system is so antiquated, you cannot get logged into it and get to the location you want and hopefully they'll get that updated under the the new company but like i said whatever's gonna happen it's gonna happen um there are some changes that need to take place um i think they're for the better um but again i don't know that i'll be here for that and i think it's going to take time um and I know a lot of people are probably in the offices behaving funny for that. But Freddie talks about a lot of different things. He talked about one orientation he went to where the man told him they couldn't go to the bathroom. I mean, it's some crazy stuff. But it's interesting because the things that he's talking about actually freaking happen. And um, they've gotten away with it for years. Um, and sometimes they don't truly know any better. So I'm going to give you an example. When I was at Warner... Werner back, I don't know if it's still the same way now, but in 2010, a woman could train a woman, but she was not allowed to train a man. But a man could train a man, and a man could train a woman. You guys understand the discriminatory issue there, right? So, I don't know if it's changed, but as I said, a man could train a man, a man could train a woman. But a woman could only train a woman. She was not allowed to train a man. Because the philosophy is that a man won't listen to a woman. Because she's beneath him. But we driving the same vehicle. We doing the same job. So. That's some of the behavior that was allowed. And that's the 2010. Again. I don't know if that's changed at Warner. It could be the same. I can't really tell you. Uh, there's behaviors at every company. That are odd. Um, I noticed that in one company I was with, the young lady was gay. So everybody who is either gay or looks gay, they would place that person or us with this young girl. And I found that interesting because when I was talking to her, she said every person that was placed with her uh, in her lap when she became a trainer was pretty much gay. Do you understand the discriminatory problems with that? So if companies do that, they put themselves in a they're basically saying, okay, we don't want to put any gay, you know, we're going to put these all the gay people with the gay people. I mean, there are some issues with that. There are some huge issues with that. And, um, but trucking companies can get away with it until they can't. And then all of a sudden, you're in court. Uh, but, again, it's like the pharmaceutical companies. These, these companies don't care. If I'm making billions and you're going to slap me on the hand with a million dollar suit, what's a million dollars? That's like me having five hundred dollars and you taking five dollars from me for just doing something wrong. What's freaking five dollars? What's fifty dollars? I still got four hundred fifty dollars left. <laughs> so um, check out his videos um, and I that's shout out to them. D Boy Stan, shout out to you. Um, oh my goodness, I got was it Chuckster? Oh my god, I can't read. I just forgot. I just forgot your name and we just talked over here. Anyway, I responded to you. I'm responding. And um, Black Saint. Black Saint, you're a hot mess, man. Uh, but D-Boy Stans, you are funny. Truckerette. 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 Sh uh, shout out to you, too. And thanks for watching. You guys got any questions, let me put them on there. 
Um, there was no parking at the facility. I had to wait almost an hour just to even U-turn my truck out of this parking lot at this place. It was so tight. Um, it, it was the most obnoxious thing. Finally got out and I got here with maybe 50 or 40 minutes left on my clock to pull in. So I had to come all the way down to Ontario from where I was, which was about 51 minutes away. And it took a lot longer because it's California. And even though it was lunch hour, it took a hell of a lot longer to get from, I was in a Long Beach Compton area, all the way down here. That took almost an hour and a half, if not longer, to get here. So, hour and 45 minutes. The terminal's back here, not too far from where I'm at. My terminal's probably five, 10 minutes. But if I go there, you have to go through the guard, and you gotta park the truck. I don't wanna drop hook the trailer to get close to the door. Whereas right here, if I, if I, I can either spend twenty dollars getting out, or I spend twenty dollars in there, and I can easily do that. I'll eat today, grab some subs. That's twenty bucks right there. I was trying to decide if I was gonna try to do a lift and go get me some sushi. Y'all know how I am about my sushi, so I thought about doing lift and going to get me some damn sushi, which I'm gonna look and see here in a minute. Anyway, peace, joy, happiness. This will be uploaded probably today. I might upload both of these today. I got a video going up right now called Slick Willie. And that, that kind of introduces you to who Freddie Jordan is. Peace, y'all.